Hey guys, it's Renee. We are going to start working with a piece of polymer clay and the color is vanilla, the color I'm using. And if you have been working with clay for a while, you know that it grabs every single uh, dirtiness that is in your hands. So what I did is wash my hands and then grabbed another piece of clay. So I would recommend you to use that first to kind of clean your hands and then grab the piece that you're going to be actually using. The size of clay that you need depends on how big you want your pearls to look. This is how much I'm going to be using. It's just like a small tiny bowl so you don't really need that much. Put a plastic bag in here on the top because I want to avoid prints that I could get from the wood that is in there or my hands. So I'm just going to roll it like this until I have the, the shape of a snake. So I'm just going to cut this into three different parts but try to make two of them kind of really equal because those are going to be making your earrings. I'm just going to be rolling them and just a tip that I have for you I used to put the, the pieces of clay in the middle of my hands and then roll them like that and I would have this oval shaped. That's not what I'm going for. Put this part of my of my hand right here, like from here to the other part, pretty much like that. And when I do that, I have a bowl. So this is what I'm going to do with the rest. And then I have my three pieces here. These are going to be my earrings and this is going to be my ring. If they are dirty, don't worry because we're going to be painting them anyways. The next step is just to bake them for, I would say, 5 to 10 minutes. Not more than that because then you're going to be burning your clay. And believe me, that does not smell good in your kitchen. Okay, so all my pieces are now baked and dry. I'm going to be taking my cutter and I'm just going to cut the part where the ear paws is going to be at. So these are going to be the earrings. Just something that your ear paws can, you know, be glued. And for the other one, kind of try to make the same size of cut. The reason why I'm doing this after it's baked, like my clay, is because I didn't want to deform my, my pieces. And I think I'm just good to go. They're never going to look like exactly the same because this is handmade, but just as close as I can get. This is it for this two. I'm going to put them apart and then I'm going to be working to be on the one that's going it's to just be one ring. ring. So the same. Okay, so I'm going to be using this ear pauses and I'm going to be using this one for the ring. But I have an issue with this one because it's silver and I wanted gold. So I'm just going to be painting this. This shiny glaze and this is the name. And I don't really need to paint inside, like here, but if you want to, you can go ahead and do it. And I'm painting this kind of gold because I feel like pearls look better with gold. If you just don't feel the same way, you can just leave them silver. I'm sure there's like special type paint for, you know, metal and stuff. I don't really know, but I had some polish and... That's why I'm using this one. I'm going to keep it probably a couple of coats. And I'm showing you my bag because there is a place where I put my piece to dry. Just something that will allow you to hang it, basically. Okay, I have here a kind of a block of foam. My ear pods, like so. Here's another one. And I did cut them because they were round and really big. And I do have another video where I show how to cut them. I'm going to put glue in here. And then my earring in there. Make sure it's centered before you let it sit. Then I have the ring here and my this part is dry. I'm gonna take some glue in here. If you wanna be, you know, decent in the amount of glue you put, don't go over the top because then it's gonna be like all over the place. And then just put it on top and then just let it sit for you holding it for a couple of seconds. Okay, so for this part, I'm going to be taking, and I'm sorry, my fingers are super like paint all over them because I'm painting like three other things at the moment. But I'm just going to be taking this kind of um, you know, tabs of medicine and I just poured in there some of my paint 
which is my finger paints, well cultured pearl, my uh, tweezers, my dried and set earring. I'm going to be doing this. I don't really know if you have worked with cake pops before. Well, this is basically the same but in miniature. So I'm just going to gonna cover all the thing in there and then um, remove the excess. I'm going to actually do it twice. Once I have done that, everything is covered. I'm just going to put it here and then let it dry. I was not sure if it was going to be a good idea because of the color, because I knew it had to be some really good color, you know, to resemble pearls. But I'm glad I went for it because even my parents uh, asked me if I had bought them. And when I told them that I made them, they were like surprised. So it's a good sign, I guess. And I just love pearls. I just love how they kind of vintage any outfit and make, make it look like super cute and, you know, kind of classy, I guess. So I'm just really glad I went for it. Other than that, we are just good to go. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy this kind of videos, don't forget to check out my channel and subscribe for more stuff. Talk to you next week for another DIY and take care. Bye.